In this video, we're going to code up our very first PHP script. And to start out with the basics, the very first thing you will need is a closing and opening tag. So all of your PHP code will go between the opening tag, which is right here, and the closing tag. So the opening tag starts out with an angle bracket, then a question mark, and then PHP. And then it's closed out with a question mark and a angle bracket. So if you mess this up somehow, your PHP code will not get executed. So you need to have exactly this format. So once again, everything that goes on between these two tags will be PHP code. And then once you go past this closing tag, you're back to HTML. But once again, everything between these two tags is PHP. So let's go ahead and save this first before we actually put some code in there. So we'll do a save as, and you wanna select PHP in all these different file formats, and it's down here. So that's what we want. Now we're gonna to browse to our htdocs folder, wherever you installed it. And I installed it on my C drive. And again, we're gonna put it in htdocs. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this lesson. Now you'll notice after I hit the save button, this color up here will change. It kind of indicates, hey, you're really good to go now with PHP. See how that changed? Okay. So we're gonna use the echo function. It's actually not truly a function because you don't actually have to use parentheses, but it acts like one. So we write in echo and all echo does for us is it will just output one or more strings to the browser. So it's really easy to use when you first get going in PHP. So then we wanna create a string. And many of you probably know that we use quotes for that. So we're just gonna say, this is my first script. There we go. And we close this out with a semicolon. Now, every line that we create is called a statement. This is referred to collectively as a statement. And this is very similar to other languages like JavaScript. And like JavaScript, we have to close our statement out with a semicolon. And then we can start another statement. And in turn, it has to be closed out with a semicolon. So this is about as basic as we can get. So let's go ahead and save this. And then what I want you to do is open up your browser. And what we're gonna do is go to localhost, and I've already got it up here as you can see. And then you're just gonna type in the name of whatever your document is. In my case, it's lesson.php. Hit enter. And there you can see our PHP script ran and we got the output to our browser. So this is a good start. In the next video, we will really get going when we will look at variables. See you guys then.